heard about this pastor. He was in the lobby greeting people after service when he seen a man he hadn't seen in a long, long time. So he called him over and he said, Sir, you really need to join the army of the Lord. The man said, What are you talking about? I am in the army of the Lord. The pastor said, Well, how come I only see you on Easter and Christmas? The guy whispered, I'm in the secret service. You're welcome. So we're just going to do another video today. Mom did a joke and hope you like it. And I might be in the video too. Well, I am because I'm talking right now. <laughs> Bye. See you later. So I'm really excited. The walls are finally ready to be painted. So they've been sanded. They've been... Yeah, all the other stuff, They're, all the sanding's done and everything, which is really nice. Now we can focus on painting and then trimming, and I'm really, really excited for that. So, we got some paint. We're going to prime all the walls first, and then we're going to paint them a white color, a velvet white. So, it should look really sharp, and then we'll trim out the windows, doors, and the corners. It's going to look super good, and we're going to that with pine. So, I cannot wait for it to finally be done. Let's go! So today's video is brought to you by Ariat. These boots I'm currently wearing are Ariat boots. They have farm wear, work wear, composite toe, steel toe, uh, breathable, they have clothing, men's, women, children. I've worn a bunch of their different apparel in previous videos. I have composite toe boots that I use outside all the time when building. In here I've been wearing these. They're western style boot. They're really comfortable. They're super lightweight and I just love wearing them around the house when working up and down ladders and walking around on this hard floor. They're super comfortable to work in. So absolutely love these boots. We really love all of the products we've received from them so far. So check them out in the link below. All right, so let's test this stuff out. There's the primer. Went and bought some rollers. Looking forward to this. Let's get into her. Oh yeah. That is some nice looking primer right there. Good thing my floors aren't done. I'll probably have paint all over them. Smells painty. If you like paint, it's a nice smell of paint. Love it. So I got my first wall primed. Only two more to go. I'm so excited. Looks good. Looks so good so far. So far, so good. So I'm on my second wall now, which is awesome. What you really want to make sure you do when you're painting is get it all over yourself because somehow that helps. Another trick is to get some bonus exercise while painting. You paint and drop down into a squat. And up and down. Look at that, I get to paint my walls and get exercise at the same time. So I'm finally just about done this big wall. It doesn't take in that long actually, but it's a big wall. Like I said, I've gone up on the peak there with the ladder and uh, covered in paint. 
may or may not have been holding this and while well, reaching tipped it and dripped paint down the ladder. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's been fun. Just the first coat of primer. I think we're only gonna do one coat of primer, right? And then two coats of paint. So it's, it's, it's exciting that almost two of the three walls are done and ready for paint. So I'll just keep at it. Takes a while, but I like it. So that's a good thing. Up high on the peak was definitely like the most challenging because I was up on the ladder and don't have a tray. Like don't have a spot on the top of the ladder to sit my paint dash here. So that's why it may have dripped down as I was reaching all over the floor, but cleaned it up. So we're all good. Anxious for it to be done, that's for sure. I just want to see it done and with the trim. I think the trim is definitely just going to make it like so much better. It looks so white already just with the primer. It looks really cool. I can get right up close to, to the pine, which is good so I don't actually need to paint it with a paintbrush up there. It's all good. See, I have to hold my tray while it's sitting on the top of the ladder and to get to the top peak up there, I used a different ladder, or like a much taller ladder. So I was holding the tray in my hand and painting like this and was tipping as I was painting. <laughs> that almost turned out really bad. All right, so I'm onto my last wall. Let's see what we can do here. I'll have to use a paintbrush up there. And we'll move the TV out of the way as well. I love it. Live, live, live it. So I'm on the very last section of the last wall, which is awesome. We just moved the TV, so the TV was here. I'm just gonna prime this and then all the walls will be ready for paint. Very exciting. Again, if anyone's wondering about the uh, heat pump, we are gonna trim all around it. We couldn't take it off of the hemlock because it would have just been such a hassle. You'd have to drain all the, what is it, antifreeze or whatever that's in there and it just would have been a big ordeal taking it off. So we cut the hemlock around it, left it there, and then we're just gonna make build a trim all around it. So it will look normal by the time we're done. I'm not gonna bother painting on the top of this either because there's gonna be trim running right along the ceiling. And then again, the frame that we're framing this out with, they'll meet. So there's no point in painting up there. It's all gonna be hidden by wood, by pine. Anyway. It's coming along really, really well though. I'm super impressed how this has gone on. I'm impressed with how the drywall is looking. Everything's good considering Jeremy hasn't done it in a long time. It's my first time ever doing it. I think we did a pretty good job. I think I'm gonna need to add more paint to my tray, which sucks. Cause I literally only have such a tiny section left. Don't wanna waste it. Well, I gotta bite the bullet and just pour it in. There's only a tiny bit of this stuff left anyway. Almost used the whole thing. Good way to do it, eh? My finger. Jay. All done. Now we're ready for paint. 